Well, thank you for taking the time to talk oh. with us. Oh, it's an honor to talk always about peace. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. that it won't happen in a year. You know, you'll probably have to go up, go into peace, right? Mm -hmm. Peace is a life. Peace and justice, uh, they're lifetime things that we must do. Um, you know, we thought initially in the 60s that it would come immediately, actually. We thought it would come in at least 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. And it didn't. Then we thought it would come in 20 years, and it didn't. Some people gave up, you know, mm -hmm. and went off as, I was someplace giving a speech, and, and someone, unimportant who she is, came up and said, ah, Sonia, I see you're still talking about this peace and this justice and change, right? I said, yes, you know, it's a lifetime's work. She says, well, I stopped because I'm making lots of money now. And I thought, well, that's good because then you can contribute to, to, <laughs> to the movement. <laughs> But she walked away. <laughs> but, but to young people, I would say that you've got to do it because this is your century. This is the 21st century. I've been given some time in, in the 21st century, and I'm, I'm blessed, and I'm happy. The 20th century uh, was basically many of our, our, our centuries, you know. Uh, what we attempted to do at that, in, that, in the 20th century was begin to answer the question, what does it mean to be human? Mm -hmm. And if you become a peace worker, you would then begin to truly answer the question, what does it mean to be human as peace workers? Um, and you've got to understand that as young people, I would be pissed at my elders uh, for the kind of world that we're handing, uh, uh, handing to them. And so it's incumbent upon them always to become peace workers, but also activists. Peace work doesn't mean just meeting whatever. That I said, when you're on a campus, you've got to involve yourself with activism, with various organizations, not just your little organization. You can't say, I belong to a peace movement and then don't engage yourself with, with, with racial work, you know, with economic work, you know, with, um, with gay and lesbian work. I mean, all that has got to happen, transgendered work, you know. You cannot just sit in your little office and hand out little pamphlets and say, we're for peace. You're not for peace um, if you don't do all of that work, you see. And that's what I would say to young people. It's a long, long, long walk towards, uh, towards peace and towards freedom and towards justice, but it's a glorious walk. It's the only walk. It, that, it is the only walk that has kept me sane. Uh, on this earth. Uh, it's on a work, uh, walk that I've wanted to walk. Um, and it's a walk also that is covered with, 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 with great people. As you walk this walk, you, you will meet a lot of great people who've walked this walk also too. And they will say to you, thank you, welcome, welcome to this path of freedom, this path of justice, this path of peace, uh, this path that says simply, welcome, we need you. For this earth, you know, um, this earth will not be a just earth until you young people pick up um, uh, the mantle of peace and justice and freedom. Yeah.